Thank you all for, for coming tonight. Thanks for um, coming. I, you know, people say, Archbishop, you work hard, but I tell people I don't work at all because I get to spend my life doing what I believe in. Uh, I get to spend every moment doing really what I, I feel is most important. And so in that, that sense, uh, we don't work at all. So Carla, don't cut off my check now just because of that. <laughs> but uh, it's been a great, great blessing, the 40 years of priesthood and now 10 years as Archbishop here in Kansas City. And uh, I feel very, very blessed. The Lord, from the very beginning, has taken mercy on me and he's always surrounded me with good people. So I'm very grateful uh, for that, for all those that are here tonight. Uh, special thanks to those from the Missouri side here tonight. Uh, I thank you for coming and, and uh, uh, being with us tonight. And, and Donnelly really does serve both sides of State Line Road, so uh, we appreciate your support of Donnelly College tonight as well. And it's been a great privilege to spend these months in, in working with uh, the incredible leadership and the dedicated priest and religious and laity of Kansas City St. Joseph. And I'm looking forward to Bishop Johnston's arrival and God willing, the seventh game of the World Series will be able to go right from the installation to the seventh game of the World Series here <laughs> in Kansas City with a, an I-70 series is what we're all hoping for. You know, I, Donnelly College um, is something, uh, when I came to the Archdiocese and discovered it, I was uh, amazed. And it is, it's a unique institution in the entire United States. I think there's only 10, perhaps 11 colleges that are sponsored by dioceses, Donnelly being one. But Donnelly is the only one that serves the 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 student population that we serve, who as, you'll, as you see in the information at your tables tonight, most of whom are first generation uh, higher education students. And Donnelly's been this gateway to higher education for so many. I think of that in a very personal way. Um, as many of you know, my father died before I was born. My brother says he kn knew what I was gonna be like, so uh, I don't know. But uh, my mother, um, at that time, uh, felt that teaching would be a good way in which to support our family and that our hours would be compatible with my brother's and ours hours at school. But she didn't have a degree, and she was fortunate enough to get um, a St. Rose Philippine Duchenne scholarship to a college that was just two blocks, a Catholic college that was two blocks from our home in South St. Louis. And that opportunity really, uh, you know, allowed her to get her college degree in, in less than three years and, and allowed her to provide for our family, but also gave her the opportunity to not just affect my brother and I, but thousands of young people that she taught. And in St. Louis, I'm best known as being Mrs. Nauman's son, so, uh, and I, Tonight, uh, she'd be with us, but she's playing cards. So <laughs> she'll greatly enjoy the book. But Donnelly College, uh, you know, I think is, it's a great jewel in the archdiocese. It helps individuals. It creates opportunity for them to develop the gifts and the talents that God's entrusted to them so that they, in turn, then can use those gifts in a way to provide for themselves and for their families to, be, to become uh, great citizens, great uh, members of church communities, great leaders in our metropolitan area. And um, Donnelly's been doing this now for 66 years. We were both born in the same year, so I, I never have trouble remembering how old Donnelly College is. And it's been doing this remarkable service for individuals that have changed and transformed truly 
many lives. But one of the reasons um, that Donnelly, I think, is unique is it's not just that it's a higher education institution, but what makes Donnelly special really is its faculty and its staff who throughout its 66 year history have been dedicated to one mission and that is to helping their students succeed and thrive. Um, Monsignor was telling me the other day about uh, a group of students he was meeting with and how um, half of them uh, didn't get the passing threshold um, because Donnelly has high standards but those students will, most of them will succeed uh, over time and they'll succeed not because we give degrees away uh, for just showing up but because they really will have developed the skills and talents uh, to really make a difference in our world. But it's not just that, you know, uh, that Donnelly does. It is, that's an important attribute and, and you see that in the results that have come out of Donnelly the past 66 years, how well those that have gone through Donnelly have gone on to succeed in so many other ways. But it's not just about um, being able to make a living, uh, to get a good job. These are important things, obviously, for individuals. But Donnelly also tries to serve the whole person. And in the context of this environment of learning, to help them to learn what are the things that really are gonna satisfy them the most. We all know that uh, money's important, but making money won't make you happy. And having a good job and succeeding in your career and getting pro professional uh, acclamations are nice. But in the end, they won't really satisfy the human spirit. You know, we, were, we just had a workshop with our priest uh, the other last week, and it was on the four levels of happiness. And I think Donnelly, in its own way, teaches those levels. Uh, it teaches our, our students, yes, to, to succeed to academic excellence, but also that the greater happiness comes from helping others, from serving others, from making a difference in the lives of others. And that ultimately, our hearts are built for God. And unless we have God in our lives, uh, we're not going to have that abundant life and that complete joy that the Lord desires for each of us. So hopefully, when our students, as they navigate their way through the academic system and uh, go on from Donnelly, that they not only go on with good credentials that will help them in the next level of education and help them get a job someday, but they'll take with them a spirit of service and they'll take with them uh, the importance of doing everything for God. And I, every year, I love going to the Donnelly graduation and to hear the student speakers. They are truly the inspiration. And they, they speak about this, about how uh, important God was in their lives and how the Lord made it possible for them to achieve what they did. So Donnelly's got a great history, a great tradition, uh, but it's something that we need our whole church community to support, to make it work. Uh, there's a reason there's only one <laughs> in the country, because it's not easy to make an institution like Donnelly uh, survive, much less thrive. But with you all here tonight, and with so many others that have been supporters of Donnelly for many years, Donnelly College's best years are in front of it. So thank you very much for being here tonight. God bless, and be generous. Uh, whatever you give tonight for scholarships, it really will help to change another life. Thanks, and God bless.